coverage now to the investigation underway into that terror attack near Frankfurt, Germany. A gunman opening fire at two separate hookah lounges, killing at least 10 people. James Longman is there with the latest. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. A far right terror attack here in Germany last night. This is one of the cafes targeted. You can make out their cones marking where gun cases uh, have been retrieved. It's a cafe popular with the town's Kurdish population. Uh, and German Chancellor Angela Merkel has been speaking this morning. She's saying racism is a poison in German society and it's to blame for far too many crimes. This morning, 11 people, including the suspected shooter, are dead and several are injured in a suspected far-right terror attack in Germany. Authorities say shots rang out around 10 p.m. local time in the town of Hanau, about 17 miles east of Frankfurt. The first target, this hooker lounge where three people were killed. The suspect then moving on to a second cafe and killing five, a ninth victim later dying of their injuries. These are venues popular with the town's Kurdish population and authorities say the attacks had an explicit anti-foreigner motive. A huge police presence descending on the area, forensic teams setting in, bullet casings offering a glimpse of the carnage within. Police later tracked this black BMW, believed to have been used by the suspect, to an address in town. Inside, they found the 43-year-old man dead, along with his 72-year-old mother. A weapon was found alongside his body. He's understood to have owned the gun legally and was described as an expert marksman by one official. This attack, the latest in a spate of far-right terror attacks and plots to plague Germany in recent months. Now, this is the third major far-right incident in Germany in the last nine months. The last time I was here, I reported on an attack at a synagogue. And just last week, authorities carried out an anti-terror raid, arresting 12 people for plotting attacks on mosques across the country. This is a major problem in Germany right now. Michael. All right, yes, it is, James. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.